this is problem 10.6 and we want to calculate the moment of inertia in the x-axis and the y-axis of this plate. This plate has this shape that the curve is y squared equals to 400x. So by the definition of the moment of inertia in respect to x that we have y squared the area and this is an integral in terms of area. For the area moment of inertia in the x direction, I will use a horizontal strip. So I always use the same direction or parallel strip to the axis where I want to calculate the area moment of inertia. So in the case that I want to calculate the inertia in x, I use an x-axis. I will do an example, another video when I use a vertical strip for x, but in this video I will use a parallel strip for the direction of the axis that I want to calculate the area moment of inertia. So we want to put the differential of area in terms of this area, so this is my dy and this point is x and this is y, right? So if this is x, I can say that that differential of area will be 100 minus x, where the x is given by this function over here. Okay, having said that, then y squared and my differential of area will be 100 minus x dy, and my limits of integration will be according to my variable of integration. In this case, it's from 0 to 200. And I have to put all the variables inside my integral in terms of my variable of integration. So as you see here, x is equals to y squared divided by 400. So I can write that my integral will be y squared 100 minus y squared over 400 dy. Well, I will multiply those two values, and I have 100 y squared minus 400 for 400. Everything multiplied by my differential of area. Now I do the integral, and I have 100 y cubed over 3 minus y over 5, 5 times 400. And all that evaluated from 0 to 200 millimeters. And I do the evaluation, so plug in here 200 and plug in here 200 to the fifth, and then minus 0, and that gives me the value. And I have it right here. 1.07 times 10 to the 8 millimeters to the 4th. And that's the result I was looking for for my area moment of inertia respect to the x-axis. Now let's do the area moment of inertia respect to the y-axis. And for that, I will draw my figure again. I will use a strip parallel to the axis that I want to calculate my area moment of inertia. And this is still y squared equals 4x. And then I will use a vertical strip to do this calculation, where this is dx and this is my y. So for EY, which is the similar definition, but now the variable that is squares is the x squared, the area. Now my the area, so here my differential of area was 100 minus x dy. Now my differential of area in this case is y dx because this point here is x, y, right? Then 
I substitute that very similar, and now my limits of integration will be regarding the variable I am integrating. So this is x squared, and the differential of area is y dx, and my limits of integration is from 0 to 100. So this is 100 millimeters. Let me get this. 100 millimeters, and that was my dx. This is my dx. Okay, so it will be from 0 to 100, and now I have to substitute y in terms of x. So as you see, this is the square root of these terms over here, so I can write from 0 to 100, x squared, and y will be 400 x to, to the one-half, dx. And that gives me that it will be the integral from 0 to 100. And 400, a uh, square root of 400 is 20, so I can actually get those 20 out of my integral. Let me get it out of the integral from 0 to 100. And that will be x to one-half dx, right? And that here will give me 2 plus times 2 plus 1 is a to the fifth, right? So fifth, let me write it down, it will be 5 over 2 dx. And when I integrate that, that's 7 half over 7 half. And that evaluated in from 0 to 100 millimeters. And therefore, when I plug the limits of integration, I get the following uh, value. 571 times 10 to the 7 millimeters to the fourth. So yes, as a summary, I was able to calculate the area moment of inertia respect to x-axis. And I use a horizontal strip, which is parallel to x. And I was able to get the area moment of inertia respect to the y-axis. And I use a parallel strip, in this case a vertical strip, parallel to my y-axis.